Hello, Zesfer here again. The other day I produced a little video showing a lovely little gondola system, uh, as you can see over here, which would travel back and forward across this canyon and take you with it. Worked on the principle of cloning a gondola that was under there and cloning it one block after another after another all the way along here, and at the same time teleporting the occupants one block in this direction as it travelled. Made it nice and smooth, lovely little trip across there. But there was a massive amount of command blocks underneath here, which I will just uh, quickly go look at. All oh, these ones down here. And as you can see, there was quite a lot of them running along here. And every single one of them had different coordinates. So this one was cloning from that point to these coordinates. And then that was cloning from the same point to those coordinates and in those coordinates and so on. So every one of these had to have a uh, different coordinate set in them. Same with the teleport ones on top. They were targeting specific coordinates, radius three, and then just moving you one along. So setting all these up, a little bit tricky without MC Edit. And even with MC Edit, you really need to write filters. I had to do some custom filter writing for some of these. And well, just generally a pain in the arse. So I've actually had a few requests to try and make this system a hell of a lot more simple. Well, I've done that. I've made it a lot more simple for you. It also allows for an infinite length as well. Although I will warn there are some glitches in regards to teleporting. So we'll run through it. This is a new one. So it's just heading along there, just one after the other. And this is just our simple detection system for pressing of buttons, etc. But all of these are identical. And I will head on up here and show you how they work. Right then. So this is the assembly here. Now we've got four command blocks all doing various things. So if we look at the bottom one first, this one clones that location, which is just under here is the gondola. And it's putting it 50 blocks relative to itself above. So if I was press the button, it will appear up there. And every one that appears after it are all relative, so you don't have to change them. This one sets the block just to the side here to be stone. In the case of the first one, it honestly doesn't matter, but it's just here anyway. And the reason for that is that this one over here sets the block one over to this side and one forward to a redstone block. So that then, when this spawns here, powers the next line, which then runs all these again, which powers the next line, and so on. And that one, as it says, just turns them back to stone, so the one of these is here, will turn that back to stone, ready for them to be powered next time. And the final command is a teleport command here. Now, this uses a little feature that I only just found out earlier. Here's your standard X, Y, and Z coordinates, so I've put all the various bits in so you can see. But these are dx, dy, and dz. So instead of your standard radius, these are a cubic selection. So from x326, we're going two in the x direction. Uh, y129, we're going one more in the y direction. And z from three, we're going 153 in the z direction. And then anybody within that cubic area gets teleported one block in the z direction. So that covers from standing here at this point to standing over here, actually one block higher if you were to sort of jump into the ceiling, when this gondola is all the way over the other side. So that would teleport even if somebody was sort of floating in midair here, but if they were down here, they really shouldn't be sort of able to get into that area anyway. So it's as simple as that. I just press to get rid of this block. If I press that button, you see the blocks back. And here's a car up in the air. And that's all you need. Just these four blocks and something to run the power on them. Now, I did say it was simpler, but it was glitched with the teleport. Well, I don't know if it's cubic teleporting that does it. Uh, but if you watched the last video, you would have noticed I can wander around, look around. It was all nice and smooth and everything. But with this teleporting, it's either the speed that this is happening at or cubic teleporting. But we run into this problem. You'll see I'm trying to move around and quite frankly, it's messing with my rotation. It's bouncing me around back to where I was. And well, it's, it's quite unpleasant really. 
But if you want to make it much more simple, that's how to make it much more simple. Um, hopefully the teleporting thing's a bug. It'll get fixed. But apart from that, that's it. Much more simple version for you. Uh, feel free to do with it as you wish. I'll put this one with the more simple version up down in the description below this video. And that's it. So as per usual, thanks for watching and bye bye. Uh, must apologise, I wasn't expecting you to be around for a video today, so I've, uh, gone on holiday. Um, well, I suppose I could do something, and I could show you around, uh, the place I'm staying. I managed to get myself this lovely deal on this nice little cabin here. Just, uh, nice little fireplace, something like that.